Struggling with slow Wi-Fi at home or in your hostel? I built this cheap Wi-Fi scanner to fix it. It finds nearby networks, checks signal strength, and spots crowded channels. Scroll with the joystick to see list, bars, or histogram modes on this crisp OLED. Boost your Wi-Fi for streaming or studies. Build it with me today. Want to build this Wi-Fi scanner? Grab a Wemos D1 Mini, a 1.3-inch OLED display, and a joystick module. These cheap parts let you analyze Wi-Fi like a pro. The star of our Wi-Fi scanner is this 1.3-inch OLED display, costing just $5. It's super crisp, showing Wi-Fi networks, signal strength, and channel histograms clearly. With 128 by 64 resolution, it's perfect for scrolling through data to fix your Wi-Fi fast. Let's talk about the joystick module in Wi-Fi scanner, priced at just $2. This tiny component is a game-changer, letting you navigate the OLED display with ease. Push up or down to scroll through Wi-Fi networks, left or right to switch between list, bars, and histogram modes. It's super responsive, making it simple to find the best channel or strongest signal. For such a low cost, it adds huge control to our project. The heart of our Wi-Fi scanner is the Wemos D1 Mini, just $3. This powerful microcontroller drives the whole project, scanning Wi-Fi networks with its ESP8266 chip. It powers the OLED display and reads the joystick, delivering real-time data on signals and channels. Compact and affordable, it's perfect for fixing your Wi-Fi on a budget. Let's plug it in next. This wiring diagram shows how to connect the Wemos D1 Mini, OLED, and joystick to make your Wi-Fi scanner work. Now it's time to wire all the components together. We will need breadboard and some jumper wires. First, take Wemos D1 Mini and install on the breadboard. Now take our OLED display and install on the breadboard. Keep the distance according to the length of the jumper wires. Take red jumper wire and connect VCC of the OLED display to 3.3V of the D1 Mini. Now take black color jumper wire and connect ground of the D1 Mini to the common ground rail of the breadboard. We are doing this because we will need ground for the joystick as well, and we don't have empty space near ground pin of the D1 Mini. Take another black jumper wire and connect one end to common ground rail and other end to ground of the OLED display. Now take yellow jumper wire and connect a CL pin of the OLED to D1 pin of the D1 Mini. Now take green jumper wire and connect SDA pin of the OLED display to D2 pin of the Wemos D1 Mini. And with this our OLED display is connected to the Wemos D1 Mini microcontroller. Now take joystick module and connect jumper wires to the joystick module as shown here. Follow standard color coded wires for better understanding. Now after connecting jumper wires to the joystick module, we are now ready to connect other ends to the D1 Mini.
Connect ground of the joystick to ground of the common rail. Connect VCC of the joystick module to 5V pin of the D1 Mini. Now connect VRX pin of the joystick module to the A0 pin of the D1 Mini. Connect VRVI pin of the joystick module to the D3 pin of the D1 Mini. And finally connect switch pin of the joystick module to D5 pin of the D1 Mini. And now all our connections are done and we are ready for the next procedure. For this project, you will need ESP8266 Wi-Fi and UAG2 Lib Library. First, we will initialize the display. Ensure you have entered correct I2C address. The joystick's x-axis on a zero and buttons on D3 and D5 let you scroll and switch modes effortlessly. The struct network stores each Wi-Fi network's SSID, RSSI, channel, and encryption for easy data handling. The setup function initializes the serial monitor, OLED, Wi-Fi scanning, and joystick pins for our scanner. The scan networks function scans for up to 20 Wi-Fi networks, storing their SSIDs, RSSI, channels, and encryption types. The get encryption function identifies a network's security type. The joystick's x-axis on a zero lets you scroll left or right through Wi-Fi networks or switch between list, bars, histogram, and details modes. The y-axis isn't used here, keeping navigation simple. Buttons on D3 and D5 select a network for details or confirm mode changes, making control intuitive. The draw display function clears the OLED buffer and renders text or graphics based on the current mode, like SSIDs or histograms. It sends the updated display to the 1.3-inch OLED, ensuring smooth, flicker-free visuals for Wi-Fi analysis. And with this, our sketch is ready to be uploaded to the controller. Hit upload button and be ready to see the detailed analysis. Let's demo our Wi-Fi scanner and see how its modes analyze Wi-Fi data. In list mode, scroll through SSIDs and signal strengths to spot nearby networks. Perfect for finding the strongest connection in a hostel. Bars mode displays RSSI as bars, making it easy to walk around and map dead zones for better router placement. Histogram mode shows channel congestion, helping you switch to a clear channel like 9 for faster streaming. Details mode reveals a network's SSID, channel, RSSI, and encryption ideal for checking security risks like open networks. These modes turn raw scan data into actionable fixes. Watch it boost your Wi-Fi now. That's our Wi-Fi scanner. Build it to boost your Wi-Fi, like, subscribe, and comment your Wi-Fi fix below. Till then, I am DHK Dude, signing off.